All right, we're down at the shop today, and uh, something finally came in. It actually came in yesterday, and it was raining all day yesterday, and I couldn't really do anything with it. But uh, we got a uh, tilt bucket. So I'm going to try to safely get this out of the truck. Not doing any damage with the sandy, and uh, we're going to take a look at it. <clears throat> Stay tuned. So that went off okay, I guess. No damage to the truck. And we got it down here on the ground. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everything unhooked. I think there's some cables and stuff that I've gotta attach. Um, but I'll at least get the bucket on the machine um, so I can make sure my cables are, or my hoses are the correct length. All right, so we got everything here. I ended up going with uh, the Mongo attachments tilt bucket um, with a Wang Royal style connector. So there's my pin and coupling. All that seems to match up. I also got, been waiting on this. Um, this is what actually is gonna connect my mower. So I'm gonna weld this to the plate that I machined in the last plate video for the VMC. Uh, and that should get the mower going. But let me get this cut loose here and uh, we'll get it mounted and see how complicated this hose hookup is gonna be.
Now let's do a little operation here. See if we got our tilt in the right direction. If not, I'll have to swap around. Probably gonna have to do something different with the hoses anyway. I may actually come up and uh, attach those to the thumb. I don't think it would get caught, but it possibly could, especially here on the front. <laughs> So everything works pretty much out of the box. Um, this is backwards, which looks, you know, lucks out for me because these are crisscrossed. And when I flip these connectors around, um, that's going to give me the ability to put these up on the correct side, uh, and I shouldn't have any interference issues. So I'll need to flip those around. Not a big deal. Um, let's see. All in all, this is a well-built unit. Two cylinders. Uh, Looks like we haven't come in contact with anything yet. Um, looks fairly simple to service. That grease fitting back there may be a little tough to get to, but um, well-built bucket. It's got sides. Got a uh, double edge. On the cutting surface there, you can flip that around. Uh, and it pretty much came ready to go. Um, one cool thing is they sent me a raw uh, connector, so that's the same thing as here. So basically I'm going to weld that onto my bracket uh, That I finished off a couple of videos ago and that should uh, Should get the mower up and going but Anyway, this is a mongo tilt bucket. I think this is the 44 inch version. Let's see here uh, I didn't really give you any kind of Information on that there but nice bucket. Um, looks like it's really well put together. Not too heavy for the machine. If I had to guess, I'd say this is probably between five and 800 pounds, somewhere around there. Uh, so the machine seems to handle it well. But uh, you'll probably see this in some future videos. And uh, if you're looking for a tilt bucket, this looks like a really good option. Anyway, uh, we got something new on the Sani here. And it all just kind of worked. Uh, these actually ended up working out really well. Had a little bit of trouble getting this this side connected, uh, but after basically rotating this back and forth a few times to let pressure build off of that ox, I was able to get it done. But this is nice because I don't have to disconnect this thumb. Um, and if the thumb does fall down or something, all I've got to do is come up here and just readjust it. Uh, I did have to adjust, I adjusted my flow down to 10%. Uh, for the auxiliary circuit for this. So I set up an operating mode in the Sani for this unit um, to slow down the bucket tilt. It was really, really fast if I, if I left it set at the thumb setting. Anyway, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next one.